So when the investors come, it's important that I can drive and buy the shiny new hospital that we have. Budding entrepreneurs from Doig River First Nation are getting some help. The Northeast Aboriginal Business Centre is holding the third run of its Aboriginal Mastering Entrepreneurship course on the reserve, with around 20 students in attendance. Many are new entrepreneurs seeking advice about how to get their idea off the ground. It's about making sure your business plan is done properly, you know, you got to do it, everything in place properly and have a good plan and have a unique idea that will sell, right, and then know your competition and, you know, see what the community want, needs and wants. Others attending the program have been small business owners for years and are looking for ways to take their business to the next level. I have been doing massage for 10 years, so I'd like to actually expand my business. I'd like to uh, get into more of, I'd like to make muscle rubs, body rubs, I'd like to get more into herbs. Um, the Aboriginal people are into herbs, and I'd like to learn more of integrating that into my massage. This is the first time the center is running the course on native lands, having previously held it in Dawson Creek and Fort St. John. Instructors say that this time, rather than focus solely on individual business ideas, the course has taken on the dual role of building up the reserve as a whole. It's more community-based, so we have entrepreneurs, budding entrepreneurs that have individual business ideas, but they're looking to bring it together on a broader sense and create opportunities within the DOI community to employ their subcontractors and employ their members to deliver more of a larger scale business opportunity. While some business ideas resemble those that were hatched in the city-based versions of the program, many have a more traditional feel in the hopes of bringing tourism revenue to the community. Basically anything that comes from our culture like furs, um, moose hide tanning, uh, all kinds of crafts like that and there's there's ecotourism as well. Like some of the some of the other people from all over the world would want to learn our culture and see you know, see different uh, ways of life of, for First Nations. The Business Centre is planning to roll out the next run of its program in October when it hopes to reach even more communities, including Fort Nelson. Hugh Smith, CJDC-TV News, Doig River.